adding leverage to a private equity deal through a leverage buyout, an LBO, has its benefits. After all, interest is tax deductible, debt imposes discipline on management teams to be efficient with their company's costs, and as the company pays down debt over time, the equity portion of the investment increases. That being said, if the leverage used in the deals was through floating rate loans, loans that have to pay a changing interest rate based on the market, well, interest rates could be a challenge. In this video, I'll explain why. So here we are in the beginning of 2022, and interest rates will be rising in the future. Now imagine you're a private equity investor that has conducted a leverage buyout recently. You bought a company with leverage. Now, how much leverage were you able to use? Well, it would depend on the stability of the company's cash flows as well as any assets the company has. Now, since the company was purchased with debt, the company is going to have interest payments to pay. Now, the company needs to make sure it has enough cash to pay the interest on a regular basis. Now, some loans, such as a bullet loan, don't have regular cash interest payments. But for this example, let's assume the company does have to pay interest on a regular basis, which is usually the case. And so, with rising interest rates, the company will now have higher interest payments to make. So the company will need to use more of its cash to use for interest payments. Now, when you originally bought the company, when you took on the debt, there is a good chance that there were covenants on the debt. In other words, the lender probably gave you, the borrower, certain restrictions. One specific covenant that will especially be negatively impacted by rising interest rates is the interest coverage ratio, also known as times interest earned, which is just EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, basically your earnings before the interest from the debt and before any effect of taxes, divided by interest expense. This ratio gives you an idea of how much money you're making, EBIT, versus how much money you have to pay in interest, the interest expense. I don't need to tell you that both you and the lender are gonna want your EBIT to be a lot higher than your interest expense. Now, if you don't have the money to pay your interest expense, well, you may go bankrupt. But even if you can pay your interest expense, but this ratio has decreased because of the rising interest rates, well, you may be breaching your covenants to the lender, which isn't as bad as bankruptcy, but it's still bad. If you breach a debt covenant, there could be many consequences, such as a penalty fee, an increase in the interest rate in the future, or even in extreme cases, the lender could terminate the agreement and demand debt payment. And if you don't have the money, well, that means you'll default on your loan. Now, here's a final thought. In reality, depending on your relationship with your lender, you may be able to get away with a breach of covenants without too many consequences. It all depends on how great your relationship is with your lender. With that said, with rising interest rates, even if you don't breach any covenants and still have enough money to pay your interest, well, because of the increased interest expense, you'll have less cash available to invest in new projects, acquire new companies, and expand the business overall. In this video, we talked about how rising interest rates affect leverage buyouts. LBOs, do you have any thoughts or questions on rising interest rates and their effects on LBOs? If so, please share them in the comments below.